This next question, we need to turn both of these individual components into index form. So I'm going to rewrite this question as ax to the minus 1. This is this component here, plus ax to the minus 2. Now I can find my derivative using my power rule. I get minus ax to the minus 2, taking 1 off the power. Minus 2 at the front of this will give me minus 2ax to the minus 3. Watch the negatives in that one. I could rewrite this now as fractions. This gives me minus a on x squared minus 2a on x cubed. What you'll see here is that our power, our sign has changed, the power on the bottom has increased. Uh, what we need to do to finish this question is just find that at the place where x equals minus 1. So it's minus a over minus 1 squared is 1. Minus 2a over minus 1 cubed is minus 1, which of course is minus a plus 2a, which is just a. Last one for this set of questions. I can rewrite this as the square root of 121 times the square root of x. This is 11 square root of x, which is 11x to the half. This form is the one that's easiest to use if I want to use my power rule. So now I can say that dy dx, half out the front here, will give me 11 over 2. x, 1 off the power, is minus a half. I'm going to rewrite that without my negative indice. 11 over 2 x to the half, which I could write as 11 over 2 square root of x. And we're going to run into the same problem as we did before because when I want to evaluate this at my negative number, what we see here is this will not be defined, so the derivative does not exist here.